Hi guys, what's going on? It's Stefan with the Pass to Abundance here. And in this video, I want to talk about the RAS, or in long-term form, the Reticular Activating System. First of all, what is the RAS and why is the RAS important? What can you do with it? The RAS, or the Reticular Activating System, is a part of your brain that works pretty much like Google, but in comparison to Google, it makes Google seem like a child's toy. And I tell you why in a bit. Um, well, f um, for many people, the RAS is the reason behind why the law of attraction works. I don't believe that the RAS is the crucial part here, but it explains um, how you notice different things in your immediate environment that are matching to your goals. So there are many ways to explain the law of attraction, by the way. Um, many particular worldviews that are behind the law of attraction. There's nothing right or wrong, neither right or wrong in this. It's a part, it's a point of um, your personal viewpoint and your personal worldview. What kind of system you buy into and what ki kind of system you believe and how it works. We don't really, we can't really scientifically prove how the law of attraction works. We can just say that it, that it does work and if, some, if we don't understand fully how things work, the fact that it does work means or pokes the question, why don't we use it? I think the law of attraction is very powerful. And if you, um, if you work the principles of the law of attraction or some techniques that make of the, the law of attraction become real, then it's, this is very powerful. And um, from my point of view, it would be... Um, not very wise to neglect the law of attraction because it's always working. So, going back to the RAS. Um, to explain the RAS, here's the following, the, the, here's the most important information you need to know. Our conscious, our non-conscious brain is processing four billion, 400 billion bits of information every second. It's lightning fast and it's processing this information 800 times faster than your conscious mind. And out of these 400 billion informations per second, only 2000 information bits per second enter your conscious awareness. The question is, what is happening in between? Where is like, where is the rest of the, of the information going? Well, the truth is, that is what your reticular activation system does. It filters out all the non-relevant information or the information that are not relevant for your brain and feeds only the most relevant information into your conscious awareness so that you become consciously aware of them. And um, the most important question here is how does the RAS distinguish between what is important and what is not? And it does that by the neural pathways and the patterns and the beliefs and the worldviews that you have already stored in your conscious mind. Like the um, uh, neural architecture that's already present and the rest will make sure that you will, that information from your immediate surroundings is passing through your conscious awareness that is matching to what is already installed. So in other words, that means, let me, let me give you, let me illustrate that with an example. For example, you have been working the last four years in this particular job and you've been a, grown accustomed to earning 50,000 euros a year. And that's a set point for you. That's normal for you. So everything that is matching to this belief, I'm earning 50,000 a year, I'm worth 50,000 euros a year, that is exactly what the RAS will pick up on and will bring to your awareness, to your conscious awareness. Now, here's the important point. There might be a million dollar ideas out there, a million uh, opportunities to make a million dollar a year, but you will just not notice it. They might be right below your nose, so to say, in your immediate reach, but your RAS will just filter out that information because it thinks it's not relevant for you, as long as you keep that belief stored in your brain. This is how powerful the, the RAS really is. And um, so it's important 
to give your RAS something new to focus on. Because when your RAS is programmed on the things that you rather don't want or is programmed on things you really you not really want, for example, the 50,000 euros, or let's go one step further, one more extreme, um, like um, you being broke, uh, you having a failed relationship, you being unhappy, then this is exactly, these are exactly the information that your RAS will bring to your awareness. And so it's crucial to understand that reality is not objective. Reality is very subjective, in fact. And um, you are actually not seeing the world through your eyes, but you're seeing the world through your brain, through your conscious brain, what is stored in your conscious awareness. And um, so reality is bendable. Reality is very malleable. You can bend it by understanding the RAS, by understanding what's stored in your RAS and then reprogramming your RAS. And um, the way you do that is again by visualizing, by affirmations, by storing new beliefs in your conscious brain and altering your neural pathways. This is how you activate or you Let's, let's take the example, let's, let's take Google. You, act, you insert a search string into your reticular activating system and your RAS is so powerful, it will find any hint in your, con in your um, environment that will bring these things to you. This is one, as I said, this is one... Uh, way of explaining uh, the law of attraction at work. I don't believe this is the way it works. It's, I believe it's an important point, an important part of it, but I don't really believe that um, the RAS is um, giving the full picture of the law of attraction at work. I rather believe, but this is a different topic, I, I still want to state it here, rather believe that we are living in a multi-dimensional universe, parallel universes of ourselves. Like every time we make a decision in our lives, there's a different alternate reality uh, emerging from that decision because you didn't, maybe you took the decision to say, yeah, I will do that, or you said, no, I won't do it. And that's where a new um, alternate space of reality is, is created. And I believe that by visualizing, right, we are, we are acting as a quantum observer we observe a future reality that is not yet manifested but exists as a potentiality in the quantum field and by observing it much like the scientist who is observing the electron and it, it appears it is just a potential it's a, an electron cloud but the researcher is observing it and causes the wave function to collapse into a singular event into a singularity and that's what we do when we visualize our future destiny, our ideal life, our ideal reality. I believe that we are moving, so there are two ways, two explanations here, two possible scenarios. We are either moving to a reality, we're shifting to a reality where these things are already happening and by acting and by taking action, conscious action, we are bringing this reality about or we are so to say as i said this before causing the wave function to slowly collapse but as our reality is physical and the physical world has a lot of like has density and inertia to it it just takes a uh, it just takes a specific amount of time until it really manifests in physical form. So these are the two explanations that I believe in. And I believe are the ways of how the law of attraction really works. But yeah, you need to become aware what's stored in your RAS because your RAS is crazy. 
your ass is searching for the thing that you are storing in it 24 7 even during sleep that's for example also the explanation of why a mother when she's going to sleep when she's going to rest can only hear, hear her baby cry actually you know actually she's hearing her non-conscious mind is aware of all the other noises around her so maybe her neighbor is coming home late and he's slamming the door or a dog is is barking outside and all her non-conscious faculties they are noticing that but only this one bit of information from the voice of her child like the the whimping the the whining of her child that is coming to her conscious awareness and she's getting out of bed like a like lightning fast man <laughs> but the non-conscious brain a non-conscious mind ignores all the rest of the information because it's not relevant to her and this is a perfect example of the reticular activating system at work so yeah become aware of your habits become aware of your thoughts because your dominant thoughts they will form have they will form routines they will form habits they will form like a routine is nothing else but a habit of thought and um, as long as you keep wiring in what you don't want you will your reticular activating system will notice all around you everything you don't want and will bring more of what you don't want into your life so instead when you when you are um, programming your ass with the things that you do want by visualization meditation affirmations setting goals and reviewing them every single day every single night every single morning every single night when you go to sleep before you go to sleep that's what will retrain and recalibrate and reprogram your RAS with the things that you don't want so you're entering a new search string and your RAS will go to work buzzing and wheezing in the background and will bring to you whatever you're searching for and whatever you want so yeah go ahead and take a look what the RAS how powerful the rest really is if you like this video and um, if you enjoyed this please make sure to give me a thumbs up down below hit subscribe and the bell for notifications so you'll be informed about any new stuff that's coming up on my channel about personal growth and development personal growth concepts and development concepts that will change your life when you apply the principles and without any further ado i see you next time bye for now